Hello there. <clears throat> this is a little uh, inter- uh, in-between announcements, uh, in-between episodes, so to speak. Now, I know there's not been a Laugh Watch episode out in a while, and uh, like Dennis said, we have uh, had uh, we've been busy. After we came home for Conquest, we just moved. Dennis and uh, his fiance just moved, uh, and uh, yeah, we just had a lot of things to do. And now Dennis categorized the video, so it should be easy to look through and I have set up to do some editing over there on the table so hopefully not that long but I don't want to give a date because uh, then I might I might jinx it I already jinxed it like three weeks ago <laughs> so now that we have all the public announcements out of the way let's get on to what this video is about I got this message from C Willis which I'm assuming is a girl uh, and she runs the Tumblr blogs uh, Lab Couture, which I mentioned before. And they, she does really good uh, background work on whatever she posts there, and a lot of good tutorials. Everything you should totally check that out. I'm gonna put a link here in the video. Uh, but she sends me some questions. And I'm also gonna probably gonna write these down as well because I'm. Go- no. I usually uh, answer differently written and oral. Oh oral when when I talk so uh, you don't get all the emotions so when I write and you don't necessarily get the more down to the bone things when I talk so that's hence the video and hence the writing so it's probably gonna be both things anyway back to subject there's eight questions here let's go through them number one can you give me some description of the climate where LARP okay I LARP in Denmark and in Germany. In Denmark, it's kind of, it's mostly wet if you want to generalize it. The wind, there's a lot of wind. I mean, Denmark, we have sea all around us, basically. So a lot of wind from the sea. The climate itself, I wouldn't say it's that cold, but then again, I'm also a Viking, so. Okay, number two. What kind of LARP do you do, and what is the name of the game where you play? Uh, what's the name of your game? And link if you want. Okay, I'm not gonna put a link in the video, I'm probably gonna put a link down in the description or in the text or wherever it is. But anyway, um, kind of LARP that you do, okay. The LARP that I mainly do is medieval fantasy. That's because I think it's the most fun. And it's the most open. It might be generic as heck and has, is full of archetypes, but that's also what I think is very fun about it. You have some you have some expectations for medieval fantasy, and when you start playing with these expectations and changing them maybe a little, you get something very differently. Also, you could you also have these expectations then you all sort of have sort of like predefined roles that you can work with and you can also sort of yeah like i said before try to break break these bonds but i like medieval fantasy i like medieval and i like fantasy medieval in itself is kind of boring it's like it misses it it needs the spice of fantasy for me to really be interested at the same time pure fantasy is like that can be way that can be a little too much. I like it set in medieval times because uh, yeah, sword fights, whatever. That that uh, that sort of thing. I like that. But fantasy in itself can be a little too much. And of course, uh, other LARPs I've tried. I've I tried a bit of horror LARP, although I've not been a player in a horror LARP. I'd like I would really like to try that. And then um, at uh, my old school. We did uh, a wedding once, which was fun and all, but that was more like, yes, yeah, a team building exercise or getting to know one another, like an event. And not really a LARP, although no, it was re- it was a LARP, but could have been could be more like a LARP. It could have been more like a LARP. Uh, although that was that was fun, but but not not something I would uh, say I, 
I would do go out and, and just do and be fun if I have to participate in it like like here but um, for myself I'll probably say medieval fantasy where either the fantasy part is high fantasy which I adore a lot I love fantasy monsters and I love wizards everybody who knows me know that I love to be a wizard <laughs> um, even though I don't play them actually that much it's mainly because the rule systems are so freaking complicated or going real low fantasy like I mean like where magic is sort of like just this itchy bitchy tiny spice that you might be lucky to find but that's the LARP that I play. I play the only LARP that I play regular is Conquest of Mitrodea. Uh, what? But it's also the biggest LARP in the world, even though it's only once a year. So I think that sort of. I think that that's that's good enough for now. I, I don't have the much so much time actually to do LARP on a regular basis. When I do, it's mainly monthly campaigns I participate in because they are easiest to get around to. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to sign in you can just show up and pay and be be part of it the only bad thing about that is that it's mainly junior campaigns so a lot of the players are younger uh, players which is a shame so normally we'll get together some friends and then go out to um, one of these campaigns um, and then of course uh, rock the game no, they would beat our ass because we don't play the games that much as they do. So we are normally just starter characters, whereas if the uh, whereas the other players have been playing for years and yeah, normally years or months. So they're usually a lot stronger or something else. But still, they it, it's, it's I don't know. Actually, I love coming with new characters to these type of LARPs. Moving on, bare bones basics. What do you absolutely have to do to be safe in the summer? How about the winter? Okay, in summer, it's pretty basic. In summer, you have to drink water, maybe stay out in the sun. And in winter, you have to, yeah, don't get, yeah, remember to go, uh, to get home after the scenario and uh, don't get too cold. Really good idea is to ne don't get wet and cold feet in winters um, in winter because then you get really sick from that. If you're talking about weekend scenario, then of course it's the most important thing is where do you sleep? Keep your sleeping bag in a dry place and stuff like that. Uh, what I gotta say? Yeah, summer drink water. I mean, in conquest this year we had like 40 degrees, so water is definitely. Uh, definitely a thing and remember to eat it's really important remember to eat I, I know I've been an innkeeper players forget to eat have you lobbed in other climates have you noticed any difference in web requirements okay I, I'm assuming web requirements means gear requirements so um, but lobbed in other climates yes I've been lar I lobbed in uh, I've lobbed in Germany uh, a conquest and that's basically it uh, the big difference here is that uh, Germany has a lot uh, well the longer the more they get into the country the lot warmer the climate is whereas in here in Denmark we have pretty much coastline like everywhere we have one of the world's longest coastlines I think so we have a lot of wind and we have a lot of water in the air and salt and stuff like that so if, even though it's warm in Denmark even though it's warm here because of the wind it can still be really cold <laughs> um, so I would say in Germany the the gear requirements um, it's not so much about the climates actually it's more about in Germany uh, in conquest it's like the standard of gear is a lot higher you have to have something that that really fits together. Yeah, it really looks. You, the standard equipment of gear is a lot higher. You you know where what I mean with this. 
Whereas uh, in Denmark, it's it's like um, nah, uh, it's like you, you, you sh- we have this as well. We look really good in most of our costumes, but people still show up in t-shirts and with buffer swords made out of duct tape, and it's yeah, it's okay. I mean, it it might not be looked that well upon, but it's like if you're a newbie, it's okay. But then it's sort of like the idea is that you progress. And your co- and the more you play, the, your costume level sort of progress, and then new new players would do the same thing because they're kind of looking looking up to you. Um, now I, I'm actually I'm, I think I might be cheating a little here because I'm actually talking mainly about the, uh, monthly campaigns in Denmark, which is junior campaigns. So whereas Conquest is mainly for adults. So yeah, uh, the big difference. But I, I just want to. Uh, I just want to point out that even though that Germany has this really high standard, even though you see pictures of the internet where like conquest, really high standard in Denmark and Scandinavian countries, really high standard costumes, we still make swords out of duct tape, foam and all that stuff. We still make buffer swords, we still make costumes out of heavy metal t-shirts turned upside down. Maybe not so much anymore, but some still do. Number five, headgear. How does lapping wear do affect it? Okay, it's rainy and wet here, so when you do it here, it's if you're using a helmet, it's gonna rust. So you need to take care of it so it doesn't rust. Other things, uh, winter really nice to have something over your head so you don't get cold ears. Really nice. Uh, one of the reasons I would like to play a wizard is because of the hood. <laughs> Always warm always nice and it's really good when it starts to rain as well um, it's all re- also really good in summer because um, covers from the sun number six footwear how does lapping wear do affect it okay winter and uh, rainy days footwear gets kind of ruined you know have you seen the you've, you've seen these nice leather shoes i have they get um, they're really used at the moment uh, well most of our fantasy lab go are in forests, so foot gear gets used a lot. It gets it gets into mud, it gets into water, stuff like that. So get used a lot, and it just sort of wears. So uh, yeah, in winter, I well, also in summer. If people don't have the right foot gear, you know, in-game footwear, I, I, it doesn't really. I'm not I'm not that pickish about it. It doesn't really matter as so much to me as long as it looks kind of in-game because footgear gets really uh, worn that's the word worn um, used and worn otherwise i would say the most thing its effect is that it gets wet and muddy number seven local critters do you have to worry about local animals during certain times of the year yes we do not have to worry about local animals about certain times of the year well there is one animal or there's the adder, Ooh. which you can be unlucky to run into in summertime. Otherwise, there's actually not any real danger, really dangerous animals in Denmark. We're kind of lucky that way. We don't have any really deadly poisonous snakes. We have the adder, and that's about it. Then our biggest main predator is the badger. Yeah, you can hear the excitement in my voice. The badger. Number eight, anything else you want to share? Check out Chivalus. Chivalus. <laughs> this is a blog, Lab Couture. And check out her other blog. Uh, it's Both of them are on Tumblr and I'm gonna put them uh, Right, they're gonna pop up here in the button of the video, as I said it, because I can't remember the name of the other one. Sorry about that. What else? Well, thanks to you guys. Uh, really, thank you a lot to you guys f- for uh, hanging in there. We've gotten a lot of subscriptions, even though we haven't put out a video after Conquest yet. That's like been almost two months, months now, so... Um, it's, it's really awesome. We're over 200 subscribers, which is like not a lot in the big picture, but for us, it, it means a lot. So thank you 
thank you a lot that that really drives us to to do more and we are going to do more uh, you can all uh, also the guys all the guys who sent in uh, ideas for episodes uh, the people who uh, I know a guy sent me something on Facebook over half a year ago. We never got, we never gotten around to it yet. <sighs> Just guys, keep sending it. Uh, we, we really want your ideas for episode. We want to hear what you want us to make. Then maybe we'll put them a little sooner ahead of time. Now I know this is Civilis's questions. Oh, I'm really butchering this name, but. I would really like to hear what your answers to these questions are. So I'm going to post them down below and then write your answer. It would actually be nice to hear what you guys have to look out for. Because we only have the adder. Do you have mountain lions? Do you have to look out for, I don't know, mutant deers? <laughs> Something like that. Or sharks. Maybe not sharks. Very few people LARPs on LARP on the water. Uh, tell us. I think Sivis would really like us uh, like it as well. And remember to check out her blogs. Remember to check out LARPing.org. These guys are also really cool. And yeah. Now it's goodbye. See you later. I need to go over and edit and get something to eat. I always need to get something to eat. Why do I always need?